guys, Joe with OMGRC.com, and I got my buddy Brian here to unveil his Kyosho Mini Z. So without further ado, let's get this thing out of the box here. Let's check it out. Anyway, yeah, what's on the box? I think we're gonna crack it open thing. anyhow. Do a, a one take. Oh yeah. We'll, Ooh, we'll get up look close at that. there. Look at that shiny new paint. Super detailed diecast looking cars. Oh, definitely super detailed. You know, windshield wipers, those lines on the rear window. So what comes in the box here too, kind of show you guys. Um, just anybody that's kind of new to the hobby too, this thing is in a training mode. So what you'll need to do is kind of look over your instructions. Oh, it's cones, man. That's pretty awesome. You get some other little goodies that are in here too for suspension. Also, when it comes to the gears, if I'm not mistaken, that should be in there. Yeah, there should be some gears. We just look on the side of the box here. Yeah, it says it comes with so several of the world's smallest pinion gears. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah, you get the spare spare wheel nuts and the C rings as well. I think that's for the suspension arms there. Okay, then you get the pinion gear. So on on the Honda Civic Type R, the front wheel drive one, you do get spur gears and you get pinion gears. So on this one, you just get the pinion gears. Okay. And this is rear wheel drive anyhow. And you get that little synchro, the KT 53 1P. I don't even um, want to touch the paint. It's so nice. Yeah. Let's take a look at why you get. I like it how it's even got the uh, defroster on the back of the That's what, yeah. I was, like, I wow, was like, is it? That's, that's what, oh, that's nice. So yeah, that thing looks good. I like I the do. rims, though. Yeah, the rims They're look sweet. nice. Now, as far as this chassis goes, too, this is the, right here, MR03. So we're going to get great. these things running on the track, so that way we can kind of see it. We're going to run this thing in training mode first. Kind of keep in mind, too. Uh, Brian, what did you pick up? Some Duracell or Energizer battery yeah, system? Yeah, just Duracell. Off the yeah, wall, some, you know, off Duracell. the rack, whatever. They're not rechargeable, so they're not going to be the ones that he's going to go with. But we're going to get some other I rechargeable did, batteries. Yeah, I did rig. go with the Duracells rather yeah. than just the generic RAN just to, to right. see off the off the cuff. Because this is... So we do have the track behind us. So we'll run this one first. We're not going to run them together because we don't want to bang these things up right away. We yeah, keep they them nice look and like clean. they definitely... Uh, so you yeah, you'll be trading paint. paint. I'd be having yeah. white paint. Yeah, no. So let's take a look at that. So, oh, let's take up. You got the radio? Yeah, let me get let's take it. I love the minis, man. I'm so into mini RC cars. They make me feel like a little kid, like right. real for real. I like it though that it's more of a full size remote than yeah. all my other little cars have kind of these like baby baby remotes right so this there. one feels pretty good in the hand yeah, I it's think. nice and it's got the rubber the foam yeah, oh, that's foam. a nice soft foam too. yeah exactly four triple a batteries down that's what you'll need so, so used to four. yeah yeah so used to saying double a's but yeah there you go yeah and i'm glad you said something too because yeah. when i was even in the store there's not that many triple a's as there used to be all right, guys, so we're going to go ahead. Uh, we can look over as far as there's your on and off switch that's on there. We can kind of go over like a little bit of the settings, too. Yeah. So when it comes to you have your steering dual rate, so that would be good. We'll probably need to turn that up so when we're first driving, we can get full steering on that one. This channel 4 is for LEDs. More or less what it's going to be is if you turn it all the way up like it is, the lights will just be on. If you start to turn it down, the lights start to flick, uh, flash. Mm -hmm. And as you turn it down lower and lower, it just flashes slower and slower. Then you have a throttle trim, so basically okay. if you start to turn this thing to the, let's say the right, it'll just start to kind of move on you a little bit. Um, and then also you have just your steering trim at the top, oops, <laughs> right there. So you, you know, if it's not going, if it's pulling left or right, you'll be good. You can adjust all that. So yeah, man, let's get this thing ripping. We got the track and um, Ooh, yeah. let's see how he does for the first time. All right. Yeah. All right, so this is Brian's first run. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Got the gas mask. To identify yeah. his radio against mine and mine goes to Ooh. 11. All right. all right so we've got it turned on. turned on cool and we are in training mode as of right now so it'll go a lot okay. faster all right getting, getting a little excited that's right Oh, 
So after practicing a little bit, much better as far as Brian driving. The car's moving pretty good. It's got some fresh batteries in it as well. All right, it still happens, man. It's looking good.